Hey, this is Class Creatives, and in this video, we'll discuss some of the rig control differences and similarities posing the mannequin with advanced skeleton versus the Unreal Art tools. Since Autodesk discontinued Python 2 for Maya 2023, you may be searching for alternatives to Unreal's art tools to animate and rig your characters with the latest versions of Maya that can then be implemented into your Unreal projects. In this video, we'll discuss how to pose and work with our Unreal mannequin rigged with advanced skeleton and the Unreal Art tools helping you transition from one workflow to another great alternative. Overall, you'll find that both tool sets offer everything you will need to create great poses from your video reference image plane, and you can achieve outstanding results regardless of which rigging solution you utilize for your animations. We won't cover every single feature, but hopefully this video will help you get started with the basics, regardless of which tool set you are familiar with, or even if it's your first time posing and animating characters rigged with either method. <laughs> It's very common as an animator to work with lots of different rigs and character setups, but overall they will typically function the same and will contain a lot of the same types of basic controls for a humanoid. Transitioning from the Art Tools mannequin to the Advanced Skeleton is relatively easy as most controls are intuitively placed and the GUI is very straightforward. There are some setup differences that you should be aware of with both mannequin rigs from their default opening states as they differ from each other not only in pose but setup. Quick pause to tell you a little bit about Class Creatives. They offer a top-ranked game design curriculum online. All courses are taught by industry veterans with experience from studios such as Disney, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, Google, and more. Character animation fundamentals teach the importance of video reference to bring characters to life utilizing Autodesk Maya and Unreal Engine. Learn professional workflows such as 3D character modeling utilizing industry standard software such as ZBrush, Autodesk Maya, and Substance Painter. The entire character design workflow is covered from start to finish in their masterclass offerings. Extensive character rigging courses teach the process of how to custom rig characters for all of your project needs. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with the link in the description. The Art Tools mannequin seen on the right comes default with all controls set to IK. In most common cases, such as for runs and walks, you'll want to set the upper body controls to FK. This will include the arms and the shoulders, which is a separate control setting. You'll need to adjust the FK settings for each arm in the Art Tools GUI. Lastly, you will need to make sure you are also setting the torso spine for FK as it comes loaded to IK by default. The Advanced Skeleton Mannequin, if rigged by the tool, will come with legs in IK, and the upper body in FK, which is ideal for animations such as walks and runs. So you'll not need to make any adjustments. However, if you wanted to make any changes, it has IK and FK matching built in so it's very simple to switch the controls by selecting the node in the GUI and setting the channel box to either 10 or 0. Overall posing controls for both rigs will be very similar with only a few slight differences. The IK foot controller operates with additional toe and heel controllers which allow you to pose the foot naturally. For our example, we'll be posing the contact position on a walk utilizing some reference in the image plane so that you can visually see some of the posing differences between the two rigging interfaces. For the arms, posing the shoulder, upper arm, forearm, and wrist will operate very similarly other than the art tools, which is a T-pose, and the advanced skeleton will be an A-pose. For the spine, you'll be able to grab all three spine controls and pose the torso easily. You also have a neck and a head controller to adjust. For the hands, there's a great picker with art tools that will allow you to select all at once or individually, once you have the pose in place, you can key the fingers, copy and paste them to the other hand for quick posing. For the advanced skeleton mannequin, launch the GUI from the shelf editor and you'll be able to start posing the lower body in a similar fashion as the Art Tools mannequin. The foot controllers are mostly the same with the IK controllers posing the whole foot and then individual controls to help define your foot rolls and toe rolls. Posing the shoulders and arms are the same layout as the art mannequin and the spine also contains three controllers to pose the torso. You also have a neck and head controller. One nice feature of the advanced skeleton rig is the fingers group controller which will allow you to press the button and quickly pose all the fingers at once. You'll also be able to key the pose, copy and paste the pose to the other hand for quick hand finger posing. You can also pose the fingers individually if you need to make any fine detail adjustments. One particular controller that you will not want to forget about is the hip controller. Especially for walks, the hip controller is great so that you can add the hip sway separately from the root controller. Keeping these rotations separate is essential so that you can get natural hip movements and prevent the legs from the knees from popping. In the art GUI, it's located intuitively right below the root controller, 
however on the advanced skeleton GUI, it's located to the left of the root controller named Hip Swinger, and is a spherically shaped controller. Advanced Skeleton features some great FKIK matching for animations. For example, if you are going to use the Walk Designer, you may notice that your legs get converted to FK, and you may want to convert them to IK so that you can iterate and change your poses. Navigate to the Arm drop-down menu and select Bake. Here you will find the options to convert all controllers to FK, IK, etc. In our case, we'll want to select FK to IK leg right, then click the Bake button. This will convert the FK leg animation to IK. Note that you might want to have the elbow knee match checked so that the knees and elbows are aligned properly. The process is the same for both legs, making the match process very easy. The Art Tool Switcher differs slightly from Advanced Skeleton and takes a few more steps to complete. Click on the match icon in the GUI, which will open up the interface. Here you can select the left and right legs individually so that you can match the FK animation to the IK skeleton. You can select knee and foot roll solving, however, as you will see later, you may still need to correct some of the knee orientations when the conversion is complete. Once the baking is done, click on list view in the GUI and click on rig settings. Here you can switch the leg to IK mode. You'll be able to see that your animation is now working with IK as it was in FK. You may notice from the front view that the knees wobble. However, it's a simple fix that you can adjust in the graph editor. By deleting out the curves and keeping the graph flat, you'll be able to get rid of any unwanted wobbles in the knees. Our tools has some additional steps versus the more simplistic approach that Advanced Skeleton has for IK FK matching. Both rigs have a pro level set of controls and functionality, and it should be relatively easy to switch from one workflow to another if your projects happen to need the latest version of Maya post-2022 where Python 2 was removed and replaced with Python 3. This video once again enforces that it isn't the rig that makes great animation or projects, it's how you utilize the tools for your needs and understanding limitations for each set of workflows. Hopefully this video was helpful in showing you some of the basic tools and control differences between Advanced Skeleton and the Unreal Art interfaces. Well, that about wraps up this video. Are you utilizing advanced skeleton rigs or sticking with epic art tools in your Unreal projects? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect.